Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this tutorial I talk about media export and a little bit about import. This is totally easy, but let's get started. So, you have an arrangement like this, for example, and you want to um, export your, uh, your project. And one thing with exporting a project, um, because um, Bitwig has clips, a clip launcher and has an arrangement, MIDI uh, only supports, as far as I know, um, exporting the arrangement as, um, as a full arrangement like that. So all tracks, all lanes and all clips are exported, like every track has one lane, regardless if you have um, here several um, clips over here. With the media export, everything gets um, to one long clip. So what you normally do is you go over to File, then Export MIDI, select um, your directory, and I exported already some, and then you name it. And uh, with name, you should use, for example, something like this, or you have your own organization. So this is a multi-track. Um, export so name it like your uh, your song uh, uh, the the name of your song then I, I would I would say do something that you know this is a multi-track if it's M or something just write in here or like 10 tracks or something I don't know and then always put in the um, BPM the speed of the um, the track and if you know and if it has some special the um, scale of your track if you don't know okay then you don't know but um, the reason behind that is that when you look at this file name after two weeks or two years or 20 years you get a little bit information about what's in that file so this is very helpful for archiving or um, sending this to collaboration partner who needs to know for example the bpm and maybe the scale is very um, that is very useful and okay if it's a multi-track or not he will see but or she will see but um, it's always nice to have some basic information in the file name as well okay then you export this for example like that you can export that again I need just to reach the save button replace now this is saved as MIDI track the whole arrangement not the clip launchers uh, the clip launcher clips and now you can exchange your MIDI file with people that don't, uh, doesn't uh, or don't use Bitwig with Ableton, FL Studio, Logic or whatever. Okay, but maybe you just want to export this violin track. For that you create, wait, I just delete that. You create just a new project with Control N. You don't have to activate that. And then you take this violin clip, drag and drop it on this tab and in a new or in this instrument track, delete the audio track because you don't want to export and then you just export MIDI. And let's go to the MIDI. And I had somewhere the violins, so then you have exported the violins and because it's exporting always the whole information of a project this MIDI file uh, this MIDI file has only one lane one track and one clip in it so if I um, delete this over here go to my where is my where is my I lost I lost my <laughs> MIDI file. <laughs> Wait. Um, but I found that over here. So this is my these are my MIDI files and these this is the uh, violin uh, track. So if I import that right now here in a new one or an existing one like this now I have this uh, violin MIDI clip over here. So 
I just delete that so it's empty again and you can do that for example with a time selection if you just want to have this track over here from here to here you um, uh, uh, use the time selection tool and then grab it drag and drop it over in an empty project put it over here and then you export it again with export MIDI and then choose maybe this one and replace it and then it's saved as its own uh, MIDI file so let's delete that again and the same goes with uh, the same goes with uh, goes with several um, tracks so i could use for example like these three tracks and this time selection drag and drop on an empty track put it over here oh sorry what did i do wait um, put it over here then put it in here like that delete the I have a little bit of a problem with my mouse. So let's put it on the beginning, then delete the instrument track and now you can export this again. So you have only this time range, the selected time range and the selected tracks. And this is very precise to export um, media informations. Okay, let's, well, let's delete everything because of this has uh, these have all names and the same goes with uh, clips you just take the clip drag and drop in the arrangement for example like that and then you can just export the whole arrangement and you have only this clip in the midi, MIDI file itself so this is the whole um, export so you can export the whole arrangement you can export single clips from the arrangement or single clips from the uh, clip launcher you can um, export time selections from one lane or from several several lanes for example and uh, that that is totally and very very flexible and one thing with importing so you can um, import where is my <laughs> oh here it is um, you can export it all those midi files there are standard midi files and you can exchange this with other people that are using for example logic studio one fl studio ableton or whatever so now with importing very simple as well you have your file explorer like like i have my dolphin in linux and i have here single tracks for example i just put it over here in a new track for example like that and i have my uh, violins or single track nason i have single track um, nason for example and if you have a multi-track there, there's something really nice in there because if you if you uh, have an empty project or maybe use project and you import the multi-track over here you see if you put that in an empty space Bitwig creates a group track and in this group track there are all um, clips in there and um, this is very nice because if you import several MIDI files um, from several people or several I don't know um, they are all grouped automatically in a group and you can say this is my import number one for example and then you know okay this is my import one or if you don't like that uh, that it is grouped just use your multi-track and don't put it on an empty on the empty space just put it on a already existing track and then if you um, let it go there will be just all those um, tracks not grouped in a group track and this is a very very um, practical to use because you can decide while importing do i want to have them all grouped or is it just a very simple import because I only have three lines and the rest is already there. I just put it on, on several um, uh, tracks or lanes, for example. So 
As I said, the whole thing about MIDI export and import is very simple and, and I have the impression that it's sometimes a little bit too simple and people just expect that there is something like, oh, when I want to export this clip, there must be something with the right click export or something or I mark that and then file export MIDI. And I expect something like export audio that I have several options where I can just select oh um, this one, this one, this one, and then with this option and so on. But not having such an additional dialogue by just using or taking what I want in a new project is far more flexible than a new dialogue with you can do that and that and that or you have to deselect everything makes it much more complicated and this is the most the most easy way sorry the most easy way I could imagine that you can do that so I hope this helped you when you when you're searching for a complicated way and um, you found this video and if you liked it and if it helped you, I would like to ask you to do something. Because um, I always like to get some feedback, some comments. And uh, for example, this was a question from someone who uh, wanted to know how do you expect like uh, clips from the clip launcher or clips from the um, single clips from the from the arrangement. And I think there was like, oh, it, it can't be so easy, <laughs> something like that. Okay, so I hope you liked it and I hope I see you soon. Stay healthy. Yeah, see you soon. Ciao, ciao.